that's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Come with me. I'm in the kitchen, and I'm going to try something kind of new for me. I am going to try to cook for one person. That one person would be me. Last night, I made an egg um, stir-fried rice with vegetables, and I actually had some um, egg rolls from Dollar Tree, and they're really good if you've never tried them. You should, because they're delicious. Um, and that was my supper, and I actually made enough for one person. I didn't have any leftovers, and I was like, yes, yes, that's, that's what I need. Uh, because I'm always trying to eat up leftovers, because I, I cook too much. Except for soup, I like to have jars of soup, so that's a different thing. Cook the soup. I have enough for several days. So, I'm going to cook for one today. Come along with me and let's see how I do. <laughs> okay. See you here. Come on. Well, you, that's not important. Just come here with me and watch what the crazy old granny's going to do next. Okay, thanks. Thanks for joining me. This is exciting. Uh, now, you may think that I don't have a life if this is the only exciting thing that happens to me. But, um, okay, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, <laughs> you guys are awesome. All right, this is what I got. I got some water in this little pot here coming to the boil. This is going to be for pasta. I have had this <clears throat> open box, partial box of pasta in my cabinet for a while now, and uh, I need to I need to use some of it. So <clears throat> I'm going to use some of this. We're going to have pasta, um, and I'm going to try to do this in one pan, sort of. <laughs> All right, let me show you the ingredients. I actually I'm just going to make spaghetti. Um, I've got a couple of meatballs that I've had thawing out. Uh, they're already cooked. I'm going to chop those up. But this is a serving out of the frozen meatballs that I've got. I've got one can, it's eight ounces, of tomato sauce. I'm going to use that for my pasta sauce. I have um, a bag of pepper stir fry from Dollar Tree. And I did say those egg rolls were from Dollar Tree, right? Well, anyway, they are. Um, and I'm going to use some of these. I'll probably chop these up a little bit. I get a lot of mileage out of one 12 ounce bag of these for a dollar and a quarter at the dollar and a quarter store. Um, I've got some peppers, I've, uh, red pepper flakes. I've got some garlic. I've got Italian seasoning. And I have some onion powder. That's what I'm going to put in, in the pasta sauce along with my chopped up um, meatballs. Now then, I'm going to show you something. It says on the box, it says that one serving of this spaghetti is two ounces. It says two ounces uh, or 56 grams or one half inch circle. So, I'm going to try to get a one half inch circle going here because I'm going to try to make enough just to eat for one meal. I have not had pasta in a long time, you know, spaghetti in ages. So I don't know. What is that? Does that look like about a half an inch to you? I don't know. I'm Okay, I'm saying that it is. All right. now. I know I'm breaking a cardinal rule, according to most people, but I like to break my spaghetti in half, so there it is. Because I'm not using a big pot of, to cook the whole spaghetti. Honestly, I don't care. And I have salted this water too, by the way. So I'm going to cook it according to the directiones, which, 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 which is 
uh, blah, 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 eight to ten minutes, uncovered, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Okay, now then. I'm going to get the, these little items chopped up, get my tomato sauce open. When this is done, it's going to be drained in the colander, and uh, it's just going to sit until I'm ready to pour my pasta sauce over the spaghetti. All right, my pasta is done. I have drained it, and I'm going to plop this in the sink. Well, I'm going to let it sit in the sink until I'm ready to use it. And I'm going to use this pot again. So I got my I got my vegetables chopped up here. So I've got some peppers and onions. I actually only used one meatball because I thought that's plenty for just one person. So I'm going to take a little bit of my uh, homemade beef towel here, just a teaspoon. I'm going to put it in the pan because I want to saute my vegetables a little bit. That in there. There. Now then. I'm going to roll these in. to put in a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, and I've got some red pepper flakes, but I will put those in later, and I'm using my same spoon. These won't take long because they're pretty much thawed out. Get that going. Put in my Italian meatball. <laughs> More beef tallow for some richness. Now, I've tried these frozen meatballs, they are salty enough. So I'm not going to salt these. I will wait until my sauce is done and then I will taste it for salt. But they're nice and spicy. So that is not an issue. Now then, my tomato sauce. This is an 8 ounce can from Aldi. Uh, when I bought it, it was like 33 cents. Um, and this has been in my pantry, so this is part of using my what I have in my pantry. I'm going to take a little bit of water. the rest out of the pan. And I'm just going to cook this until it tastes the way I want. I'm going to put it on a low simmer. Okay. Now remember, this is for one person. It's for me. It's for one person. I'll tell you what. When I had the egg fried rice and the, the Asian vegetables and the egg rolls last night, and honestly, I, had, I, I cleaned up my plate. I didn't have any leftovers to deal with. And I'm telling you, it was, um, it was great. Because uh, sometimes, because I don't, I don't eat that much necessarily at one sitting. And... I'm usually only eating twice a day. Sometimes on the weekends I eat, um, I might eat three times a day or eat twice and have a little snack. But I'm an intermittent faster, so, you know, I'm not, um, 
eating mounds of food. And honestly, I've usually, I've always cooked too much because I raised a family of four children. I cooked, always cooked. I used to cook a lot of food. And um, so sometimes those habits are hard to get out of. But I still enjoy cooking. I still enjoy making a nice um, a meal. And you know what? Uh, I may be by myself and um, because um, I've been a widow since 2008. So um, I've had to make a lot of adjustments. And um, so I still I think that I am worth cooking for. Uh, I am worth making a good meal for. So, and I enjoy cooking. I used to think when I was younger and the kids were young, I thought I'm just I do it because I have to. But as time went by, I knew that I enjoyed doing it very, very much, and just I like making people happy with food. Okay, I'm going to taste this real quick. Well, I have to say that tastes pretty good. Now then, here's the thing. Some, For some people, tomato products are too acidic. My son-in-law is one of those people. Um, so, for people who have issues with tomato products of that type, put a little sugar. You can put a little sugar in, the, in there, just a little bit. It takes down the acidity. I don't have an issue with it. That does not bother me. So, I'm fine with it. Oh, my phone. My phone is going off. And, and it tells me that it's a spam risk. <clears throat> Do you get a lot of those phone calls? I am telling you. Um, I get so many phone calls a day. I don't know who, what, who, I don't recognize the number. If I don't recognize the number, I'm probably not picking it up. Unless I'm expecting a call and they're using a different phone from their business. And then I might say, well, that's probably the person that I'm waiting for. If that happens to you, put it in the comments for heaven's sakes. It is so annoying. So annoying. All right, I'm going to let this simmer a little bit. We'll come back and we'll plate it up. Okie doke, we're all done. What do you think? Got my spaghetti plated up here. This is one serving of spaghetti. <laughs> and this is one serving of sauce, pasta sauce with meat and peppers and onions. So, now, you could put cheese on this too. I'm not going to. I can have it or not have it, but I'm choosing not to. And I have a couple of pieces of garlic bread. Now, this garlic bread is from the dollar and a quarter tree. Um, and I actually, while they were frozen, I split them in half, so it gives me two fun slices here. So, shall we try this? Shall we try this um, spaghetti? I think we should. All right, can you see me? <laughs> All right, here's my spaghetti. I'm a brave soul eating a bite of spaghetti on camera. You know that, don't you? It looks good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. I didn't salt it at all, but I think I will. Put a little salt on there. 
this sauce is really good. I want you to see, you know, it's not watery or or runny. And frankly, I think it's it's pretty cheap. Mm. <laughs> that one meatball was just right. I could have put two in there, but yeah. Let's try this. Pretty tasty. So, what do you think? Did I succeed? Did I succeed just making a meal for one person? Just one serving? I think so. I think I did. Mm. Now, listen. If you've never tried making a small amount of spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce from that little jar of um, tomato sauce, give it a try. Because I'm telling you, it is really, really good. And you don't have to cook it for hours and hours. Okay? Um, even if you're paying like 40 cents for that little can, that's a pretty good bargain. And you don't have any waste. So, I'm working on it. I'm trying. <clears throat> I'm trying my best here. And isn't that all we can do? Listen, I love you guys. You know I do. Thank you so much for being with me. And share this if you think that somebody else can use this information. And, um... If you want to like it, fine. If you want to subscribe, that's fine too. But, oh, don't forget to comment below because I'm telling you, some of you guys have the best doggone ideas. I always like to read your comments. Mm. <laughs> so good. Okay. That's it for me today. Listen. Give it a try. Let me know what you think as well. And always remember that little is much when God is in it. This is a pretty cheap supper. Well, not chintzy, but frugal. Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to comment. All right, bye-bye.